you're doing welcome to this iPhone Pixelmator photo tutorial so yeah finally Pixelmator has been released or the photo editing piece of Pixelmator has been released on iPhone it's really cool allows you to adjust images so anybody that's been following my channel for a long time will know that I was probably one of the first people to be doing tutorials on Pixelmator and I've continued to use Pixelmator throughout be it on the Mac Pixelmator Pro now um, or on the iPad Pixelmator Photo, and this is the and this is the iPhone version of that iPad app. So um, I'm not going to do any sort of real adjustments on this or talk about the adjustments. I'm going to just talk to you through the tools and what you can reasonably expect to see if you use this app. The app itself in UK costs three pound fifty, three pound forty nine. So I should imagine in dollars it's probably going to be around the same three dollars, three dollars fifty, whatever. So I've got this photo here that I've not edited. The top left hand side will just take you back to your gallery where you select an image. The next button along at the top left is the undo button if you make an adjustment and you want to undo. This here, this little um, two arrows with a line, that lets you, if I make an edit, let me go to one of these presets. If I make an edit, I can now see what the picture started with. So it's like a comparison tool, okay? So it's quite cool. You can swipe across, see what edits you've made. Um, so I'm just gonna close that preset down at the bottom and click undo, just to show you how the undo button works as well. The next button along the top is like an auto. It's like machine learning. You press it, it will analyze the picture and it will apply settings based on the hundreds of millions of pictures that um, it's machine learned from or that, that Pixelmator have had it machine learned from. The next one is the healing tool. I probably am gonna show you how to use the healing tool. That's this grass here, so we can select the, the, the brush, uh, the healing tool, choose the size of your brush, and then just wipe over and it will get cool. removed. And then we've got the crop tool, all the tools that you would expect, crop, straighten, perspective. Perspective just puts the image on a perspective. Um, you can do a machine learning crop, which is quite cool. It'll, it'll put the crop based again on machine learning, or you can go to aspect ratio defaults, four five for insta and and all of that good stuff so while i'm um, while i'm just talking about this you'll see the blue arrow in the top right hand side um well the blue tick now it is when i've done an adjustment the blue tick becomes active and if i if i click the blue tick it saves the image and takes me back to my camera roll i don't want to do that one of the things that's quite annoying actually is is that so all you have to do is click back and it will automatically save the um save the adjustments as you're going along okay so deselect the crop tool you know so at the bottom i've got my film strip active and um, so what i can do is in order to get my adjustments and change this go to the top right hand side click adjustments and now i get my presets so to select a preset you open up the tile and choose whatever preset that you want to choose so like this one close down that you can leave them open and at the back end here if you go and make adjustments and you like the preset you come back into presets click the little plus button and it'll save that preset as like a user preset so you can apply it to other images later but then what you can do with presets and adjustments so i'll say this now while we're here is you can click the three little dots here and you can go adjust it intensity so you can adjust the intensity of the preset or an adjustment that you've made. And that's a quite quite a nice, um, cool little tool. So I'm gonna to go to these three dots and we're gonna talk about these. Before I go to the three dots and talk about these, I wanna show you one way that you can get your adjustments is you can swipe up from the bottom and then you can open up, let me close them all down, toggle them off. If you make any adjustments, any adjustment, in the tools that have been adjusted will be open when you open the adjustments bar but if you want to make adjustments or you want to apply that adjustment you have to toggle the tools on to get that adjustment back so once the tools are toggled on you can then open in any given area and adjust so this will adjust exposure of the image or darken the image obviously according to the um, exposure contrast black point fade it out a little bit or bring the darks back in if I want to adjust the hue and saturation, I'm going to open this up and adjust the hue and saturation like so. If not, close it down. So just remember, if you toggle a adjustment area off, then that adjustment won't be applied, okay? Let's have a quick look at the curves. So white overall colors obviously has been adjusted with a preset. So that has been, so we can go into whites and change, um, change the whites 
of the image or the light parts of the the whiter parts of the image sharpen i don't really like the sharpen area within pixelmator pro i wish they'd um tidy that up a bit and sort of make it an enhance area maybe i think that would be a better better way to go so there might be some tools if i want to get rid of the tools just swipe back down but another way to get to my adjustments is three dots and i can go show adjustments and then this is my adjustments open again. It's just the same as swiping up or swiping down. So here we can go to a specific adjustment. So if we want to go to white balance, let's have a look again. Go to adjustments. If you've got loads of adjustments like the sharpen that I didn't like, we can go to the sharpen and we can look at that adjustment there. Um, here we've got customize adjustments. So this is where you can remove or add the adjustments that are shown to you by default. So let's say I don't want to use the replace color i don't want to use replace color i've just removed it by clicking there but i do want the fade that's quite annoying as well is that it disappears after the menu pops up or after you select it so you have to go back in let's say i want the vignette so now i can apply if i swipe up a little bit just to see them all i can get go down and get rid of let me just remove that sharp and let's go to the vignette and now i can apply a nice vignette to my image can i can view the image what it looked like to start and what it looks like now and then what else we got down in this bottom left hand corner we can look at the film strip we can look at the histogram histogram auto hide is when you're viewing uh, um what edits you've done to an image visible all the time so we can have it visible all the time if that's what you prefer if you work with the histogram a lot you can have it hidden all the time and you can decide whether you want to view the histogram in um, reds greens blues or luminance as well so that's the um that's the little three dots down there um, in the um, top right, let's go back to the top right. We've got the three dots here in the circle. And this is where we share, export, enter full screen if we want to, copy adjustments, match colors, super rares, denoise. And then the three dots in the little tiles in the corner. We can reset the library, add a group, import or share. And it's really easy to bulk edit as well within Pixelmator Photo. That's one of its cool things. And I will probably do a, um, a tutorial on that. But all in all, click the, the blue tick. And that will ask me if I want to allow the changes to this image or if I want to modify the image um, to allow the changes to the image. So that's um, that's a really quick overview of Pixelmator Photo. Like I said, is it worth it? For me, yes, I've always used Pixelmator um, and Pixelmator Photo use. Will I use this? I use Lightroom quite a lot on my phone. Um, Will I use this instead of Lightroom? I'm going to try. So, um, but yeah, give it a try. You know, if you like photo, not manipulation apps, but photo editing apps, you know, you mess with the adjustments of a photo, then this is um, this is good to have an experiment with. So, hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do more tutorials on how to do certain things within um, Pixelmator Photo. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody. Bye.